<coughs> so this is pretty much the the, the start of uh, Ledge Route. There's number five gully just there, so you kind of flank off to the first sloping on the right hand side. There's a side of Moonlight Butteress just in front of me. You can go higher up, number five gully, uh, and peel off to the right again. That's uh, that's the position. So, what we're gonna do? Start Ledge Route. A nice day for it. Avalanche hazard was low as well, but you can see the exposure just at the very start. This is basically the very start. Not actually on ledge route. Ledge route doesn't start to a bit higher up. I shall probably say getting to ledge route is actually more difficult. And more dangerous than Ledger itself. <coughs> Snow's pretty well consolidated, so it's quite secure. You might just see just down there, there's the CIC hut. But there's pretty much decent exposure around this bit. Yeah, you certainly won't want to take a slide here. That's for sure.
So it's really just a wee zigzag we've got to do. Straight up. You can see how exposed it is down there. Take a slip here, and that's yeah. You know, wrapped up. I'm afraid to say you'd be a goner. Certainly the snow's quite uh, nice for taking the crampons and the axes. Quite solid.
stand up instead of leaning into the slope, I think. Down there, down to the CIC hut. The band's still caked in powder. Probably a slightly easier way, kind of rising traverse. There's the top of the air, so I'll put it on the signal. Nice start. Oh, that's right. This incidentally is a grade two, grade two, three stars. Those with these GoPros on your helmet, it always feels like your helmet's falling a lot forward. Kind of annoying. And that's without like the double battery pack.
taking quite a lot of effort then. The weekday off. And it's a good day today. So not a lot of people doing about. So that's pretty much the beat zigzag at the start. Coming on number five, gully done. There's a top block which pretty much marks the start of light route. Morgerick there, going round the way, the right, there's your tower ridge, observatory ridge. And I'll press on. But there's a top walk. God knows how it actually stays like that. came up here what seven maybe seven years ago it was like that, so I wouldn't particularly trust it but you've got to walk under it unfortunately Pretty good track already on the route. See if you break your trails.
got a couple of snaps on my phone. The camera's in the bag. It's uh, Trident Buttresses over there, is it? In the Rayburns area. I mean, you see some of the cornices from here. I mean, they look pretty, pretty deep.
and you pretty much see the end of the ledge right there it's not a terrifically long route it is a long day doing it but the actual route itself I suppose it depends how you're roped up and stuff how many are, you, how many are in the party Change my insoles. A bit more volume on them, I think it's scraping my heels. See the oh, all the room. See was staying at the going his camp, so I just walked on over. See a wee bit of fuel in the van, driving at the North Face car park, I suppose, but it's a bit more of a hassle. A walk.
I came from Tower Gap, coming down from Tower Gap, between Tower Gap and uh, Garabatas. That big crack, pretty visible from me over here. seems to be sugary about here Yeah, we can the final section I think As the sun's out Okay, last little section.
So as you can see, it's pretty safe as houses look like. It's always good doing this in the winter or in the summer. So we made one scramble in the summer. But I'm not very hands on. It's just a uh, really, really atmospheric. since I changed my network I've got a horse crap O2 I'm going to stick in my place I've changed it to EE all of a sudden I'm getting you know, some great signals high up in the mountains and down at the campsite I can't even get a decent signal down at the campsite on O2 I mean, even if you haven't got the well-trodden uh, route up it, it's quite easy to follow and fire them out. But it's a stunning view. And you see the shadow. The actual summit. The actual northeast part of us. Basically on the... Uh, or at or Cam Jarek, Cam or Jarek. Oh, that's a stunning view. Absolutely stunning. What a location. these insoles again
way or more icy so sections Track going up and down. Yeah, so this is the cairn that marks the uh, Cairn Jerrick, kind of northeasterly top of the bend, most northeasterly top, I suppose. Views all the way over at Lock Hill towards the Glen Pirren Hills, right down Lock Linney. Big, massive, massive, look at the size of these babies. I'm going to get too close, I'm really very scared this year. Anyway, I'm wearing my rolls and I never heard it at the CIC hut. I hear a jet coming. But I hope you enjoyed that. That's ledge route. On Ben Nevis.